Hey, what's going on? How you doing? I'm D-Rez. Thanks for checking out this video. And real quick, I'm going to explain to you what the Pow Wow Trail is. So, here we go. Some Native Americans, like my family members, people actually do this. They travel across the country to various powwows, um, such as the biggest one um, called the Gathering of Nations. Also, powwows here in the Northwest. The my home tribe has what's called the Yakima Nation Treaty Days powwow. So, you know, like this. <laughs> And then also the powwows that varies from like scheduling from like sizes, uh, it could be like a one day powwow, a mini powwow, or even like a whole three day weekend powwow. Uh, I know it could be inside or even outside like this one. <laughs> Now, when going to a powwow, some things you want to remember. Now, this is what I call powwow etiquette. Uh, first of all, is if you see a blanket on like a bench or a chair, uh, that's us saying that that seat is reserved. So, you know, if you see something like this. I know that's just what we, that's the way we do it sometimes. Those can all, that blanket also double as a door and a curtain, just saying. If you've never been to a powwow, this is the one thing you should never ever do unless you get permission by that individual who owns that piece of regalia. And that is even touching the regalia or even trying to wear it, you know, things like that. Because with, with the regalia, is what we call it, where it's not called a costume or anything like that, um, a lot of these pieces, these, uh, you know, the beaded parts, the parts with feathers, um, are handed down generation from generation. So even though some parts may look like brand new, the beadwork could look brand new. Um, that family member who uh, gave that person that piece of regalia, that's sacred to them. And so there's a reason why we say that you should not dress as a native for Halloween. No, that's part of the reason. The other part is we're not costumes. Always ask permission. Let's just go with that one. A lot of people travel, all, like I said, across the country. So at a lot of powwows, you can actually find food uh, such as fry bread, which can actually have plain or with huckleberry jam. Hamburgers, sometimes nachos. Great, I'm hungry. Each tribe's different with their foods. So, you know, you got your Navajo tacos. You got what's called the Indian taco. So Navajo taco, I call them Red's tacos. And we just have a lot of foods here, not only in the valley, but across the country on the powwow trail. Like I said, if you ever go to a powwow, it's your first time, you don't know what to expect, enjoy yourself. You know, to us, it's like a big social gathering. For me, it's like a big family reunion. All right, you guys, hey, thanks so much for checking out this video. Uh, and if you have not done this yet, now hit the subscribe button, click on the little bell so you get notified when I upload new videos. Until next time, I'm D-Rez. We'll see you later.